Michigan gas prices soar to new heights. Thanks for joining us tonight, everyone. I'm Shannon Kantner. Drivers are now facing some of the highest prices in the entire country. Unfortunately, any relief at the pump could still be a while. As Josh Sidorowitz found out, it comes down to a problem of supply and demand right now in the Midwest. This is tough. It's hard, and I don't make that many adjustments about the travel, but I sure see it in the bank account. Many Michigan drivers feeling the pinch at the pump. With gas prices hovering around 429 in some areas, we've already broken the record statewide average of 426 a gallon, which was set back in May of 2011. I'm driving all the time. I get it, you know, and, and uh, I think it, it's it's hitting the roof. And so my message to the, the refiners, the wholesalers, the dealers is don't gouge the public. And if we if see people doing price gouging, price fixing will be on the case. Price gouging or not, you be the judge. Wednesday's wholesale price for gas was about $3.50 a gallon. Add in taxes and shipping, and most stations are paying about $4.12 a gallon by the time they sell it to you. The margin's really thin even at retail, so what we need to do is get the, the supplies and production back up in the Midwest. And gas prices around Michigan fluctuate anywhere from $4.19 to you can see $4.29 there across the street here at this marathon in Okemos. It was the highest in the state earlier at $4.49. Even now it's come down about $0.10 cents to $4.39. It still remains one of the higher ones on average. Reported refinery issues last week in Illinois are being blamed for this most recent spike. We've had some scheduled maintenance that's going on in some of the refineries in the Chicago area. But until everything is back up and running, we're going to have some supply issues here. But Griffin said there could be more at play here. There's something else going on too because, uh, you know, these rapid price increases at wholesale mean that there's somebody out there buying in the spot market. Big, big amounts of barrels that's normally not there. In Lansing, Josh Sidorowitz, Fox 47 News. The good news, though, these prices aren't expected to stick around permanently for the rest of the summer. Just going to take some time to get back things to normal levels.